Hello, my name is Grace Taylor and today I will be presenting the impacts of global warming on the Great Barrier Reef coral bleaching for EDC 175, Educators Inquiring About the World. The Great Barrier Reef is located in Australia's northeastern coast and is the largest coral reef ecosystem in the world with over 600 species of coral. The Great Barrier Reef consists of a diversity of marine life and contributes to the economy, livelihood and culture of Australia. However, the Great Barrier Reef is at risk of damage due to coral bleaching. Global warming due to anthropogenic reasons has forced sea temperatures to rise 0.5 degrees Celsius since the late 19th century. This is problematic as coral experience thermal stress when sea temperatures fluctuate, resulting in bleaching. Coral bleaching happens when symbiotic relationship between the algae and coral break down. The algae called zoanthellae lives within the coral and provides the coral with energy and colour through photosynthesis. In return, the coral provides protection and nutrients. However, when the sea temperature fluctuates, it causes the photosynthesis to work in overdrive and creates compounds that are toxic to coral. As a defence mechanism, the coral expels the algae to protect itself, resulting in coral turning white. As a result, it affects the Great Barrier Reef in different ways. The northern third of the Great Barrier Reef is most affected, with over half of the coral surveyed suffering from severe bleaching. Further, in 2016, the water surveys were conducted on over 100 reefs and revealed that shallow corals suffered 30% coral mortality. This is concerning as the impacts have a cascading effect. Coral bleaching will impact the biodiversity and relevant industries that rely on Great Barrier Reef. Biodiversity is vitally important to maintain the functionality and resilience of an ecosystem. Some species rely on the structure of coral to provide habitat, like the butterfly fish. Additionally, around 700 species in the Great Barrier Reef have been assessed for conservation status in regards to the red list of threatened species. Further data from research has shown that the Great Barrier Reef has declined in certain species such as the dugon, hawksbill turtles, sharks, rays, fish and coral. However, the cause of the decline in species is difficult to determine and may be due to cumulative impacts. The tur tourism industry is an industry that relies on the Great Barrier Reef and its biodiversity. Without coral and biodiversity it provides, the tourism industry may lose over $900 million and 10,000 jobs. To prevent these effects, action is required. To recover coral that is already damaged, it needs undisturbed time, ideal environmental conditions and positive symbiotic relationships between coral and algae. To prevent the Great Barrier Reef from further damage and conserve its natural beauty, the government invested $1.28 billion and developed a 2050 sustainability plan. Additionally, the Reef Adaptation and Restoration Program was developed with multiple partnerships to promote intervention that would allow the reef to adapt and recover with warmer ocean temperatures. The program focuses on interventions that cool and shade the reef from environmental factors, assist reef species to adapt to the changes and support natural restoration to repair the reef. Ideally though, we need your help. We need you to help reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 1.5 degrees Celsius than what it was pre-industrial era. Without reducing greenhouse gas emissions, we may not have the Great Barrier Reef as we know it in 2050. Research conducted has shown the result of the current conditions if they were to continue. In a hundred years, all the coral minus one species would be dead. Do you want that to happen to our Great Barrier Reef? It's time for us to take responsibility and action.